Today we're going to talk about my sweater. I know I'm wearing a hat. Maybe I'll leave a link over here, but my hair, they have a bad day. Let's watch it. So this is Free Pattern Flax Sweater by Tinkanitz. <laughs> I made some changes so now this is amazing pattern you have to check it out I'll leave links in my project page so check it what I've done differently maybe I'll show you a photo of how it looks like okay so this is how it looks like and I did something different right it's a top-down sweater that's the first thing you probably would want to know uh, once you finish your body then you work on your sleeves and that took me a while because I couldn't figure out should I do a magic loop or should I do both at the same time and especially that I have some difficulty with the yarn I had about quantity of it and I wasn't sure will I manage or not you know you know the story anyway so I did not take a gauge <laughs> yeah so that's why this section I would love to have it a little bit closer but at the end of the day I would only need a shawl or a cowl or something woolly knitty funny so I'm not uh, complaining about that not at all this is the body then I did a longer ribbing, don't ask me why. Yeah, and then sleeves. And I just had a fun that I wanted this, this section to be up till here, an army soldier pat. Uh, I like that. I didn't do anything over here. I was afraid first that I wouldn't exactly manage to point what it should be, especially when I was working one and another one. There were so many cables going on and I didn't know how to put it on. And if I had to, it took me a long, long, long time. So, yeah, I was playing with colors over here and over here, and I'm very happy about it. It kind of got lent. I have a habit to kind of pull it, but in a while I'm going to tell you what kind of yarn I use and needles, and um, yeah, and you will know why. I think that's all at the end of the day. I'm happy with it. Can't wait to wear it. I did not block it because we have acrylic blend over here, and as some people say, acrylic may stretch wool can shrink after washing so we shall see well we'll be okay with my sleeves if they stretch in case over here i will have a dress will i <laughs> what's the story with this yes so what did i use i use needles uh i use magic loop and i use 3.5 i think i use four millimeters for the body and i use 3.5 for the arms, which I actually should stay with four millimeters for my arms. Don't ask me why I changed that. I thought maybe this is too big and my arms will be too floppy, but my arms are floppy because of the swimming and stuff like that. They got humongously big over here. And uh, yeah, so they were tight, but no, it's quite okay. I just wear a t-shirt underneath it and I'm happy about it. So yeah, and they would. I don't have the four millimeters because probably I already took them for knitting a shawl and stuff like that. So knit pro zings and my pouch. Next, yarn. I use three types of yarn. First one, the grey one, the main one. It's a blend of wool, and this is Irish kind of commercial brand, which is called Tivoli, and it's a block buster iron. I got as a present from my dentist and my friend, so happy. And this is 20% wool, 80% acrylic, 400 gram I had over here. And uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? Oh yeah, color, 414. I have leftovers, bit. But I knew I'm going to run out of it to kind of see this anyway, true. And I used 100% acrylic. I got it once, you know, at the beginning of my knitting in Ireland, just went to, I think Aldi store, I have over here even, I think, video. Quite a long time ago I bought it. So that's also 40 grams acrylic, those two ones. And this is this. Oh, it's Aldi. So one color is 004 and another one is 014. And do I have a note which one is which one? I don't have a note which one is which one. And I didn't put anything around it. But yeah, and I used some markers uh, you know when I was doing the creases over here I wasn't sure will I knit one sleeve 
and then go with another one. So for the creases, I wanted to make sure that I'm doing it at the same time. I kind of had that idea, but then I got annoyed and I just went two at a time and uh, yeah, so I marked these. I hope to show you some photos that I took during my knitting adventures and I shamelessly share everything on Instagram. So check it out my Instagram feed. I love Instagram and especially you guys because that's why I love it because you're so nice to me um, and you enjoy it too and you support me and you help me with choosing stuff. So thank you so much for that. I think that's all. I hope you like my sweater. Um, this is first time ever I knit a sweater from a pattern and with the sleeves though I was kind of figuring out when I want to uh, decrease more. At some stage over here I just ch checked how much stitches I would like to have over here and I had bigger number minus smaller number that how many I had to reduce and I tried to reduce it during this period of time so that's that. Don't you think it will look lovely with some yellow, some colorful shawl or cowl around my neck? I think it will! Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this one, see you in the next one and if you have any questions, probably I forgot something, please let me know down below, hit like, free pattern, check it out yourself and I hope to see you on Instagram. Bye! Oh yeah, a bag! It's a TK Maxx bag. Huge. Thank you!